Welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm glad you're here. Right now, it's right about 6 a.m. I got up and I'm going to do my morning things. Thought I'd take you with me. So one of the things I need to do is fix my hair. Oh, nasty. Nasty bedhead. <laughs> so I got my spray bottle of water and my comb. And I need a napkin. And what I do is I spray... and then I'll just give it a little bit of dry because it drips I was just listening to um just before I got out of bed, I, I listened to, again to uh, Billy Elish's song, What Was I Made For? What a pretty song from the Barbie movie. If you're not familiar with that, go check it out. Billy Elish, What Was I Made For? It's kind of, a, kind of an unbelievable song. I think it just won an Oscar. There we go. That looks a little bit better. <laughs> uh oh. I forgot to put it on wide angle. There, I think that's better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna boil my water. I got my water already in here. I'm gonna put it right in here. Turn my inverter on. And boil it. Get out my dandy blend. Now, you know, on the bag on dandy blend, it, it says a teaspoon or something for eight ounces. I don't know. That's not enough for me. So I have this measure right here, which is probably a tablespoon. And I do two kind of heapings two, not huge heapings, but a little heaped over for this big tall mug. And that seems to be just enough for me. Just enough. So now here's these uh, water wipes that I like to wipe my eyes down with. Well, wipe my face, but it's basically my eyes that feel like they need to be rinsed off in the morning. Oh. oh. That felt good. So I usually fill the, fill the mug right about to here with water, boil it, stir it up, and then I put water up to the top. So it just kind of cools it down because when it first comes out of the tea kettle, it's too hot to drink. And then I have to let it sit for the longest time to cool off. And then I thought, why am I wasting the energy, my power? to boil that much extra water when I could just boil this much water and then add the cooler water afterwards to cool down. That made sense to me. So what I'm gonna have for breakfast this morning is going to be mighty delicious. Let me grab a pear. Here's a pear. It's a Bosch pear. B-O-S-C. Bosch. It's very, very delicious. 
<sighs> what was I made for? That's not what I was made for. I used to know. Oh, it's done. So I'm going to turn my inverter off before I forget. I'm going to add this water right here. Nice boiling hot water. And stir it up good, fill it the rest of the way with water. Now it can sit right over here on my bedside table and cool down a bit. It will be all ready by the time my breakfast is ready. So yesterday I drove all through Georgia and then I made it to South Carolina. And I spent the whole day yesterday driving South Carolina. I did pull over for a nap because I was really tired and I just conked right out. I went to a hotel parking lot that I found on the side of the highway and I just pulled in, hopped in my bed and had a nice rest. <laughs> um, and then last night I made it into North Carolina so I'm very happy to be in North Carolina. I'm at a Cracker Barrel. Um, the Cracker Barrel I stayed at last night and tonight, they look like in the back, they look like RV parks. <laughs> There's so many big RVs. It's so cool. Like it just, it feels like I'm in an RV park. So not that I've ever been in an RV park, but I would imagine this is how it would feel. <laughs> I'm always grateful for a day of safe travels. And it was a beautiful day for a ride. It was like 80 degrees and sunny. My uh, solar has been cranking. I haven't even used my DC to DC charger because the, um, oh, there's my alarm. That means it's been a half an hour since I've had my glutathione. My glutathione. I had that a half an hour ago. And then after half an hour, I brush my teeth. Uh, so this is my gray tank. This is what I spit in when I brush my teeth. It's very handy. It fits right in, in this little cubby. I put one of these little cubbies in my, in my um, kitchen cabinets is just for teeth brushing. It holds my gray water tank. It holds my toothpaste and my toothbrush and my rinsing cup. I'm gonna fill my rinsing cup with water. And I think I'll use my, uh, so I have this one here. I, the link for this is in my in the description. It's called Happy Teeth and Gum. It's a tooth powder that I really enjoy. It's almost gone, but I usually use that at night and I use this during the day. This is, a, this is really good. It's Jason brand and it's called Coconut Mint pretty good. It's fluoride free, uh, made with coconut oil, calcium, magnesium, peppermint oil. Um, I feel good using it. It feels like it's natural and I'm going to brush.
Then I like to put a little bit of water in my mouth and brush again. Then I like to take a gulp and I use a little bit left to rinse my brush. Then I like to Wipe down my toothbrush, wipe down my cup, and put all this away. And just everything fits right in here perfectly. Look at that. See that? So what I'm going to need to make breakfast is, what's that little silver bar? to make it in this little stainless steel bowl. I'm going to get my almond butter and I'm going to get my nuts and my cooked quinoa. I think I'm going to get some strawberries too. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I wonder if this will come out better if it's not wide angle. Okay, so I hope you can see what I'm doing here. So, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put, so I have this Ziploc bag of cooked quinoa. It's the tricolor one. It's just cooked quinoa. I cooked it a couple of days ago. I've been having it every morning for breakfast for my base. So it's like, uh, it would be like instead of oatmeal. So I'm gonna put on uh, five ounces. I use five ounces of this. Perfect. Looks like I might get one more breakfast out of this, which is just fine. So the next thing I'm going to do is, see that? And it's cold. I don't mind it cold at all. I'm going to put two things in here. I'm going to put salt and a little bit of cinnamon. A little salt. cinnamon. Just like that. See that layer of cinnamon? Get my little spoon. Give it a little stir. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is put my fruit on. So let me get my little water wipes. Just give this um, give this pear a little little wipe down. Take the sticker off. I don't know how to feel. I think I'm gonna say. These look good. Oh my god. Look at how gorgeous that looks. Looks gorgeous. Look at all of these look so beautiful. Look at how beautiful the hookos look. They're ruby, ruby red. Love it. The organic strawberries from Whole Foods. 
you get what you pay for. It's what I paid for. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to put on six ounces of fruit. Because that's the fruit serving I have. So I'm going to cut off the stem. I'm, going to, I'm just going to cut it into little pieces until I get to six. Wow, these are red all the way through. Oh my God, be like candy. Scoop the seeds out of that. There it is, six on the nose. So I'm gonna grab this little container for the leftover pear. This will fit, yes. And this will go into the, the fridge, the cooler. So there's what it looks like with all the fruit on it. So quinoa, strawberries, and pear. Now I'm gonna put on my protein, which is I'm gonna use um, some nuts and some almond butter. Together they will weigh two ounces. So give this a little stir. I usually stir it just like this. So I'm gonna use two ounces. Do a drizzle like this. I'll try to get like one ounce. That's about one ounce. So this is pecans, almonds, some sunflower and pumpkin seeds. break up these pecans. Actually, mostly pecans just came out of here. All the, all the seeds are at the bottom. I don't know how to feel. Da, da, da. You gotta hear that song. It's beautiful. Get some of these seeds. There we go. Look at that. With a drizzle of almond butter. Absolutely perfect. So 10 minutes after I brush my teeth, which is now, I spray this Nano Soma under my tongue. Five sprays.
and this has to sit for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes. Timer set. And I will not eat this or drink my dandy blend until these 10 minutes are up. And then what I do then is um, have my morning supplements. That goes in here. This goes in here. So I want to tell you a little story. So when I was 60 years old, my birthday present to myself was to take tap dancing lessons. Uh, the last time I did any tap dancing, I was a little, little kid. Um, and I was just recalling it and remembering how fun, how fun it is and how I love to dance. So. What I did was I bought myself some tap shoes and I hired a carpenter to make me a dance floor that I could put down right on top of my wall-to-wall uh, -wall carpeting in my bedroom. I put a mirror up on the wall, big mirror, um, and I said, now I need some lessons. So um, I just wanted to do the lessons online, but like, you know, find an instructor online and buy the package of lessons, you know? So all the tap dancing instructors are on YouTube, right? So they all have a YouTube channel. So, and they're, in, and they're showing little snippets and they'll teach you little snippets of little dances. But if you want to do their lessons, you have to buy their lessons. So I said, let me find a tap dance teacher. So I want to find somebody that I like. So I watched many of them, just watch them doing their little, little free YouTube little tutorials and little short little um, combinations to memorize and stuff. So there were some people that I was watching that uh, I found very annoying. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to be annoyed. <laughs> there was this one woman, she was like, after every, every, after every step that you'd practiced a few times, she'd say, good job. And I'm like, you can't even see me. How do you know if I'm doing a good job? <laughs> so I know she was being encouraging, but I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. So I found a guy. Um, he's from, uh, I think he's in LA. His name is Rod Howell. He's from United Taps. So if you Google that, you could find him. Um, I found him to be very enjoyable and really good. So I bought his beginner package. Um, I forget how much it was, like, I don't know, like a hundred and something maybe. Um, there were 12 lessons. And um, so I just started with lesson one on the beginners. Um, and so at the end of the lesson, you know, you, you practice, 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 and he takes you right through it. Um, at the end of it, you do like a little routine that was maybe 30 seconds long. So you have to memorize this. He wasn't sure. I knew I'd be able to dance, but I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to memorize. Cause it's like, it's a lot of steps. It's a lot of stuff, you know? There's a lot of, a lot of steps to make up that sound, that clicking sound that you keep hearing, you know? Um, my son put it, put it well, he, cause he's a drummer. And he said, it's kind of like playing drums with your feet. And that's exactly what it is. Um, so I would have, I would call, <laughs> I would call the kids in my room when I had it all practiced and memorized. 
I'd have them come in for a recital. I called it my recital. They'd come in, I'd be like, I'm ready, I finished lesson one, come watch me, right? So they'd, they'd sit there and I would, um, I would do my routine and they were like, they were thrilled. So now with each lesson, as, it, as I went through the, the beginner's program up to the 12th lesson, things started to get a little bit more complicated and more impressive and they were very impressed and it was fun. I was impressed that I could memorize it, that I could do it and that I had a blast doing it. Um, then I bought the next, the, the next package, which was advanced beginners. And then the next one is b intermediate. And then the next one is advanced. I never thought I'd make it to advanced, maybe intermediate, intermediate, but, um, I made it to advanced beginners and I did those first few lessons though. So it started to get a little bit more difficult, but still enjoyable. And I could still do it. Um, then I went on a road trip and that was the end of that. Um, for now and then when I got back I it seemed I didn't get back into it I got it back into like just other things with the van and then road trips and um, so I kind of let it slide so I, I still I could still put the tap shoes on and remember a lot of the steps but um, uh, I would say that I'd be extremely rusty at this point so as I was traveling in this this last road trip I had this idea because I know he choreographs um, dances um, so I reached out to him and I said uh, you know I bought your program I've, I'm in my 60s and I really um, enjoy you and I said recently my son and I wrote a song together and I would love a tap dance routine choreographed to that song so I said um, you know, can I arrange to have that done? Here's the song. So I sent him the song and he wrote back to me. He told me he loved the song and that he would love to choreograph. So I told him exactly my story where I was be advanced beginners and I, but I'm rusty. Um, I told him all the steps because I remembered the names of all the steps. I told him the steps that I enjoy and the steps that I don't enjoy. Um, I don't want to leave the ground. I don't want to start doing leaps and stuff because that might not end well. <laughs> I don't want to end up in rehab with a broken hip. So I told him I don't want to leave the ground and I like these, I named him the, the steps that I, that I enjoy. So um, he said he would love to um, write a dance for me. So, so that's what he's been working on while I've been on this trip. He's been sending it to me in little bits and he broke it into four 30 minute, it's a two minute song. So we broke it into four 30 minute lessons. Um, the price for that was about $550, which I thought was extremely reasonable. And as he sends me these videos, oh my God, they're gonna be, it's gonna be so good. So he sends me like he does the 30, 30 second um, routine and then he breaks it down breaks it down into like, you know, okay. Oh, here's my timer. I'm gonna interrupt the story so I can do my supplements. All right, let me put my thing over here. So what I have is I need my cup. I need my drops. I need my sulfur. I need my salt brine. This is all in my video. Lulu's Way, Supplements Explained. That's the name of the video. Just search it if you're curious about all these items. So I'm gonna put my uh, iodine right here. One, two. A little bit of water. And with this, I take selenium. One more drink, plant minerals. One, two, three. This is sulfur, granulated. And this is Himalaya pink salt brine.
there. This is my measuring spoon. And I'm gonna fill this with water. And this is my map, which is like a amino acids protein. Two of those. Dandy blend. Mm. Perfect temperature. Now I'm going to hop in my bed. Where right now it's considered my sofa. Here we go. Mmm. Yummo, yummo. Here's this gorgeous, gorgeous, delicious breakfast. Quinoa, strawberries, pear, nuts, almond butter. Mm. Mm. It's so good, you wouldn't believe it. So good. So I've been amazed at these videos. I, I have a lot to learn and a lot to memorize. There's a lot, a lot of steps to this song. Two minutes. Nothing is repeated, so it's not like when the chorus comes, it's the same routine. It's different every time. <laughs> so I'm going to really enjoy it this summer. So now I have to get a new dance floor because the floor in my van is my old dance floor. <laughs> I, I, I guess I knew I was going to be taking a long break because uh, when I was making my van, because I just used my tap dance floor for my floor. And um, so I need to get a new floor. Mm. I still have my shoes. And I'm just going to work on it every day. It's so awesome. I'm going to show you a little, little snippet. A little snippet. Just a teaser. Of the video that he sent me with the whole routine. I'm just going to show you a little tiny bit of it. He's such a nice guy and he loves my song. He was loving my song so much. Actually, when he was finished, he reached out to me um, to discuss a little bit of a collab. So that's something in the future because he likes my song so much. So this would be good with oatmeal at the bottom, oatmeal, diced up fruit, a drizzle of almond butter with some sprinkled nuts. Um, it would be good with sweet potato at the bottom, diced up or mashed up.
This is going to give me so much nutrition, energy, vitality. I'm going to be nice and full. I'll be all set until lunch. If this was bacon and eggs or a breakfast sandwich, I'd probably not feel as good. If this was a donut, I would probably be hungry in an hour and I'd be craving sugar. And my energy would have highs and lows. So, I stick with a nice, fresh breakfast of whole foods. You don't have to go to Whole Foods to get Whole Foods. I realize not everybody can afford Whole Foods. Get what you can. So that's my exciting news about my tap dancing. My God, I'm so excited. It's gonna be really hard. I know it's gonna be hard because uh, not the dance, the dance I can do. The memorizing gets a little, uh, gets a little challenging, you know? If you're my age, you can probably relate to what I'm saying. I used to know, la 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 la, who was I made for? Get that song on my brain. I know when I start driving, I'm going to put that on and sing at the top of my lungs. <laughs> mm. So you can look forward to hearing more about my tap dancing and I might give you a little sneak peek at some of my rehearsals um, as I go about learning this dance. And you know, my message here is that you're never too old to do something that you, that you love or that you think you might love. Um, there's no limit. You just need to think about the steps that you need to take to get there. So for me, I needed to buy a pair of tap shoes. I needed to make a dance floor. Now, a dance floor could just be you pick up a, 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 a sheet of plywood, put it, on the, put it on the floor. You've got a tap dance floor. Um, I wanted my edges to look nice and so that's why I had a, a carpenter build, but um, this one I'll do myself. Um, and then you just get lessons. You can really, you know, anything that you want to do, just break it down into the steps that you need to do to get there. Because um, I'll tell you right now, I thought about tap dancing lessons for probably 10 years before I did it. Because it was just, it felt overwhelming. Like, oh, I don't have a floor. I don't have the shoes. How am I, who's gonna teach me? I don't have time to go to lessons. And, and 
if you if there's something that you want to do if you find all the reasons why you can't can't do it um you'll find them but if you find the reasons how you can do it you'll find those too so just have a have a think sit down and have yourself a think about what you'd love to do something that would be fun to learn and what the steps are to make that possible and thinking think of it as being possible and then the ways in which it can happen will come to you so that's my message today so now i'm going to get dressed and i'm going to hit the road today i'll make it through north carolina i'll make it through virginia and what's next to virginia Maybe D.C.? I know I'm going to see D.C., Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts. I think the next one is D.C. after Virginia. <laughs> I hope I write. <laughs> mm. Again, this is so delicious. Bye for now.